Hmm. A heated water hose. Hey, welcome to a new video. Now it's getting that time of year where it's going to be cold. And so for the last 12 months, we've been in, in the RV whenever it would get cold, like below freezing, we would have to unhook everything. But I see everybody's got these. This is a heated water hose. Um, we just went through a cold spill um, around Christmas time. And um, I didn't have this. And so I had to unhook four nights in a row. Um, or keep it unhooked pretty much all day. And fill up the tanks. And then do it again every day. But apparently with these you can stay hooked up. Hopefully it works. Um, we're going to unbox it, look at it, do all that stuff. Um, I'll link below where I bought this from. This one was $80, I think $79 on Amazon. So I'll link it down below. I'm not even sure what brand it even is. But it says new and improved Series 3. So hopefully it works and it doesn't leak. That's been a lot of reviews I read. Some of them leak. So thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. And we're going to uh, unbox it. Okay, so there we go. Heated water hose. 30 feet, because that's about the length that I need. It thaws ice into water when it when water is frozen. Cold weather heated water hose. Smart automatic heat system. No leaking. Cold weather resistant. According to scientific principle of thermal expansion and contraction, don't stretch the hose tightly. Nothing here. Same thing here. It had all kinds of labels on here to pull off. Look there. So it doesn't even tell me. There's no brand on it. And here is the top. So it's got multiple tape pieces of tape. Hopefully this wasn't in like a return. I found this on the web. Take it easy there. So. Um, hmm. Let me figure this out. Okay, I think I got it cut in all the right places. Nope. Oh, yeah, maybe. So here's some kind of cover. Holder. Oh, this probably didn't wrap the pipe. And then we have another type of cover. We'll, we'll see what those are. Here's a hose. There's a weird smell. Here's instructions. Maybe we'll see what brand it is from these instructions. And then that is it. Well, oh, that's heavy. Wow. Very odd smell I'm smelling right now. But we will look at this in one second. Let's look at these instructions real quick. Warranty. Heated hose outlet. Visit www.hose.work. Two-year warranty. After sale service hotline. Heated hose double O at Outlook.com. Made in China for outdoor use only. Heated water hose should be fully extended during using. Please refer to insulation on operation. Do not press the heated hose with heavy goods. This can all damage to the water pipes. Heated parts. Do not cut. Make sure water hose does not seep into electrical socket. Do not use heated hose with water that is unhealthy are of unknown microbiological -bio quality. Hmm. Always use the entire heated hose in a frozen environment rather than the part of the hose. Okay. Scan a QR code to activate your warranty now. Well, by law, it has warranty. You don't have to activate anything. This may give you like extended warranty, I guess. So you have a cord here. And then you have a threaded connector, hose clamps, waterproof and rubber rings, buckle straps, insulation, all that good stuff. More insulation, I guess I can pull it this way. There we go. This is how much power it uses. We got the 30 footer, so it uses 300 watts an hour. 11 amps, 1300 watts, wow. 
starts inst instantaneous. Uh, wow, that's a lot of. Hmm. Yeah, if you're using uh, the 100 footer, look at that. Even the 50 foot. That's that's uh that's a lot of power. Wow. At work description, at the temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is freezing here, heated water hoses can prevent water from freezing and thaw. Antifreeze. The heated hose can be antifreeze after it is powered on. Thawing. The heated hose can thaw the ice and the heated hose at a temperature of 32 degrees for about an hour. Heated hose is frozen. Water can be passed through the hose after one hour of heating. Water mode. All right. Let's look at the hose more. So when it gets 46.4 degrees, it will turn on to work. Once it goes above 59, it turns off all by itself to save power. So that that is nice. Yeah, and these are just insulated sleeves. So it comes with two of them. They look a little bit different. They just still they just wrap around the pipe, your hose. So that's nice. And then let's see what we got here. So you got a buckle here. Let's undo that. See, there's the so many parts you need. There's the plug in. I assume it's got a light on it when it's got power. So, and this is what you need to figure out which side you're going to plug into. Because some plug where the water goes into your RV and some by the, on the pole. For this one, we're going to do on the pole because we have a slot for it. So, not every RV park will actually have that for you. So, um, well, well, I guess the next step is to go outside and see how this works. For my hoses now. So here's a cord. So we have, this will go here, and then this, this will just plug into my hole right here, just like that, oh it's upside down, but yeah, just like that. Hmm. And here's the piece that it comes with, the male piece, we will attach to the other end. attach this to your RV. Now, it's not freezing, so it can't really show it off till it's freezing. So, on a cold day, we'll be back. So I went ahead and hooked it up. So here we go. I'm gonna plug it in already. Or maybe I'll finish hooking up this. So I have it hooked up here. It's a lot more weight than I'm, I like on my RV. But, um, hopefully it comes down when I it's all twirled up. So I got the water on now. I'm hoping this drops. You can go ahead and plug it in. I don't see any light. Hmm. So I got, got it all hooked up. I'm still going to wait for a cold day to really tell you whether, whether, whether or not it works. But um, I did notice that the pressure was lower because it's, it's a more narrow hose than what I'm used to. So I had to turn my pressure up a little bit um, because it was showing about 40 PSI. So I bumped it back up to 45. Um, so, yeah. So when I come back, it'll be on a cold day and see how it's working. Well, there we go. There is a light that comes on. Nice. But that heated water hose working great. It's even warm to the touch. That's nice. Yeah, so it's freezing outside and the water hose worked great. Um, night and day difference using just a normal water hose to go into that. So I recommend everybody get a heated water hose. Especially if you can find it on sale. I'm gonna link this one down below. Uh, hopefully it's still still on sale when you click on it to buy it. Um, not a sponsor. Uh, thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe to the next one. Bye bye.